Hi everyone. It's been a while since my last video. I've gotten a haircut since then. Uh, <clears throat> the last time I got a haircut, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we kept the beard and he lined it up for me. I'm going to try and try and do what he did, but I'm not going to use a shavette and I'm not going to use a straight razor. I'm going to use, yes, I found it. I couldn't find it for a long time. I bought it and I lost it, but it's been found. So we're going to use this. We're going to line this up. We're going to keep the length. Just want to neaten it up a little bit. And we're going to use one of these King C Gillette blades, blades that came with it. Because why not? They probably work nice together. And for shave cream, we're going to use Bath and Body Works. This was given to me as a Christmas present. And we're going to see how it is. <clears throat> and if you haven't seen it yet, this is the razor. This is the King C. Gillette. Nice and shiny. Has nice knurling on the handle. It's got some weight to it. It's not a huge looking razor. It's got some weight to it though. It does not feel cheap at all. It wasn't super expensive, but I forget exactly what I paid for it. Um, but they range from, if you buy this on Amazon, it's around $27, $28. If you go to Walgreens, they're going to get you for 40 bucks. So I think I got it at Walgreens. So they got me for 40 bucks. But anyway, that, this is the most expensive razor I have ever bought. Uh, but it feels like this could be something you have for a very long time. I think this is well made. I think it's good quality. Um, and it's a three-piece razor. If you've never seen one, most of you probably have. But how you load the razor is you unscrew this. And you take this middle piece off, I forget what it's called, and then there's a cap, and a little screw there. There it is. Kind of holds everything together. Oh, before I forget, we're using this little brush. It's a, obviously, it looks like a synthetic badger or a synthetic boar, but I forget where, I think this is from AliExpress, uh, or, or it could be Timu. Not expensive. It'll work just fine. Um, okay, let's get ourselves a blade and not waste any time. Okay. And that's how it comes out. Comes in this wax paper. Wax paper holds it nicely and it doesn't cut through it somehow. There it is. I don't know if I mentioned, it says King C. Gillette on the top of this. And it also says it on their blades. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a tough thing to see. But it's etched on there somehow. Okay. And then you load it just like so. We're going to put it right over the little posts. And then this cap goes on. You can kind of see it has a little indentation on the bottom. <clears throat> that's where the that's where the handle sits in. And you just oh, where is the camera? Okay, slap it right on there like that. Get it nice and straight there. Screw it down till it won't screw anymore. There you have it. Thing of beauty. Okay, let's get right to it. I'm gonna wet my face a little bit and lather up. I'm not using super hot water for this either. And I'm not soaking the brush. Just gonna wet it a little, shake it out, and then just get a little on there, work it in. 
Now I'm only doing, I'm just lining it up and I'm gonna flatter my whole face. Cause it feels good. Cleans your face nice too. Yeah. Has a soapy smell, I suppose. I gotta say, it feels really nice. This this shave cream feels like it. it. Feels like it's protecting your face. Anything that was feeling kind of raw or dry, this seems to really soothe it. It feels you can really feel it. I, I don't. I didn't look at the ingredients yet. I'm not sure what's in it. But this Bath and Body stuff seems to be. I, I, it seems to be good quality for something that's mass produced. I've used the body washes from there and the bar soap. I love the bar soap. I love the body wash. So far, I like this a lot too. I recommend it. If you're at Bath and Body Works and or you're at the mall or something like that and thinking, oh, I love shaving. I need a new product. That's what we're all thinking about all the time. New shaving products, right? But we love. Wet shavers like this stuff. Gives us something to think about. Keeps us from getting bored. Anyway, I recommend it. Pick yourself some up. You could use more than this, but I think this is fine. Again, I'm not doing a, a whole shave. If you can see this, I'll say this is a very mild razor, very mild. The blade is sharp. Not a lot of blade feel. Kind of just glides over. Very comfortable shave. I'd say if, if you were getting into this kind of shaving for the first time, this would be a good one to start with. Kind of wish I did. I mean, I use some other rough ones that, I mean, you know, it's not that bad. I've been shaving for a long time, but this is an exceptionally smooth feeling razor, I gotta say. And the blades that come with it are, are good. I've heard people say that they're similar to the Gillette Silver Blue, I think. I haven't tried the Gillette Silver Blues yet, so I'm not sure what to compare it with, but I've used these before, these, these blades. Not with this. I mean, yeah, sorry. I've used the blades before. And they are sharp and they're, they're mild. You, you seem to be able to get a few shaves out of it too. They do charge for them. If you buy the blades, I don't know if they'll, the, the, at least the King C Gillettes, they, they only sell them, I think in five packs, maybe 10 packs. Maybe it's 10 packs. And I think they're $7 for 10 razors. So. It's on the high end for that, you know. There's, there's a lot of cheaper brands out there. But this is still way cheaper than using the cartridges. Yeah, up front, this, this is going to cost a few bucks, this razor. But buying the handle of one of those five, you know, the, their other cartridge razors, the Gillette's, you're gonna you're gonna toss out about the same amount of money, and this you'll have a very long time. You you know the other ones you'll have too, but buy you can buy other blades for this that will work just probably just as well for much much cheaper. A real practical side to doing it this way, and I'll say. 
this is a very, very, very comfortable, I dare say luxurious kind of shave. It's, it's, it's worth the money. I wish I bought one of these. First off, all right, I'm just trying to, I don't know if you can see this. I don't have this camera positioned very well. I think I pretty much did what I wanted to do here. I didn't want to take a lot off. I just want to clean it up. And I know they like, you know, the clear gels are really made for this sort of thing. So you can see what you're cutting. For me, I feel like the, the shaving cream is a good guide. You know, I, I, I can see the line really well. It kind of defines it a little bit better. I think that's good there. Get kind of the, the long ones right under here. Wow, that's a really fast shave. But I, I don't need to cut the length really. It's, it's at a good, comfortable length right now. I'll save that for another video. So that's it. That's it, that was really easy. So one of the key things to do, <clears throat> as soon as you're done, undo this. This knurling doesn't look like it's going to have much feel, but boy, I'll tell you, when you start, if your hands are slippery, mine are a little, you know, my hands are wet. You can really, you can grip this pretty darn good. It's almost like a, the threads of a screw. Not as sharp, but has the same capability. Take this apart again, carefully. Look, let me, hang on, I did this wrong. Let me put it flat on my hand for you. All right, flat on the hand. And take the cap off, and the razor came with it. Whoop. Get it out of there. Damn it. Okay. I'm going to wash this little guy. It didn't get a whole lot of work. I'm going to save it. <laughs> I, I know. Do I have a lot of blades? Yeah, I do. These are nice, you know. It's worth saving. If it was one of the really, you know, the, the cheap Chinese ones that I have, then I'd probably just throw it away. These are pretty nice. And I'm going to put it right back in this little wax paper envelope that it comes in. Pop it right back in this little old box. Isn't that fun? Anyway. Nice to talk to you all again. It's been a while since I've done this. Nice to see everyone. I feel like talking to an audience. Wash this off too. Just give it a good rinse. Dry it with a towel. Now, oh, for you to believe me, you have to see it. There we go. There you go. Dry it off, dry it off. That way it won't get yucky and rusty and all that stuff. Put it back together. This thing will be good for probably longer than we're gonna be around. And it comes in this, it's a cardboard box, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's got a little groove to put your razors back in. There it is. Boom. The blades are in there too, and it's back in its little, like an Egyptian pharaoh. There we go. Sealed. All right. Wash off our brush. I'm going to rinse my face.
Tell you, from watching other people do these videos, I've, I've picked up a few things. I now shave with cold water. I used to think hot water was the thing to do. And using this, I'm telling you, my face feels soft afterwards. Like I don't feel like I need to put anything on. I, it feels protected and soft and really feels good. So I don't know, I'm kind of done. It's a quick shave. Um, 15 minutes, that's a record for me. Anyway, um, yeah, again, Bath & Body Works. Get that at Bath & Body Works. You can pick these up. They used to have them at Target. I don't know if they're going to still carry them. Uh, it seemed like they were doing their whole thing over the last time I was there. I don't know if they're still going to carry them. They used to carry them. Walgreens has it, probably CVS, and other stores. Amazon's probably your best bet. Anyway, that's that. I'm not going to... I don't, when you don't shave as much, you only do a little bit, you don't cut up your face that much. I don't need that. I don't need to have that stipic pencil or the, the Allen block. I still have it. Someday I'll probably shave it all off. But right now I'm kind of liking this. I might take it down. I got a new job starting on Monday. It's Friday night, April 19th. I got a new job coming up. Monday, so I kind of want to, I'm going to trim this and do this again Sunday night so I look spiffy for the morning. Anyway, thanks for hanging with me. Good seeing you all again. Good talking to you all again. And uh, thanks for hanging in there and through the whole thing if you did. And I hope you got something out of this. I had fun talking to you. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.